Hi, this is Johnny, and today we're down at the beach on the Wirral, and we're looking for some stuff to be able to do crafts with. Uh, we've had a high tide recently, so there's quite a bit of stuff that's been washed up on the high tide mark. So we're just going to have a wander along and see what we can find. There's quite a lot of feathers on the beach. I think the, mar the tide's been up over the marshes and washed out a lot of feathers. So we'll collect some of these in our bag and we'll see if we can find a use for them later. Now the beaches at the Wirral are terrific for razor shells and cockle shells. So we're going to pick up some of these. Uh, we'll keep them in our little bag here. For, uh, for later. But the dogs are helping collect stuff as well, slash not. Uh, they're busy doing their own, th own thing and I, we can be busy collecting stuff here as well. There's some nice uh, shells there. Uh, dogs like nothing better than a good swim, uh, rather them than me, because the sea temperature is pretty cold, even though this is a beautiful September morning on the Mersey Riviera. Every so often you get a bigger shell. Thanks Bella. And some of these are really lovely. So we can do stuff with this. That goes in the bag. The shells keep getting bigger and bigger. There's a, a cracker there just in the edge of the water. I love that one. This we've hit pay there to here. There's a, there's a, a whopper. Look at that, that's beautiful. And, uh, that's got to go in the bag. Beautiful. Well, Bella's found a crab. Uh, well, that didn't last long, did it? Yeah. Hope that's not going to have repercussions later, Bella. Crunchy, is it? There's something else you find on the beach. Lovely big jellyfish. Uh, I don't think that one will be going in the bag. Yeah, Freddie tried to eat one of these when he was a pup. Didn't you, Fred? But I think you learned your lesson, mate, didn't you? Yeah, give that one a wide berth, I think. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's it. Good dog. Fortunately, there's so much plastic that gets washed up that uh, it's a really big problem. And there's all sorts of bits of rubbish but I think this one uh, some kind of a little strap I could probably find a use for that uh, I've got an idea that that might come in handy for well look at that I think that's a table leg or uh, perhaps a, a newel post off a banister and uh, love to put that one in the bag but I think we'll have to give that one a miss what do you think guys yeah too big Stick bottle tops are good you know you can use these for eyes and you know all kinds of little bits and pieces so that goes in the bag oh look at that now that's a proper piece of driftwood uh, wouldn't you love that in your garden but <laughs> uh, unless you come down to the beach with a crane there's no way that's going to move yeah what do you think Bella too big uh, well it's probably been weed on by countless dogs as well so I, I think we'll probably give that one a miss gorgeous as it is Oh wow, look at this. They've got a cuttlefish. I don't very often see them down the beach. Now, that is like beachcomber's gold. How lovely is that? I wish we had a budgie. Uh, that definitely goes in the bag. It's amazing what does wash up on the beach. Uh, somebody's trainer. I uh, obviously belong to a pirate. Uh, yeah, there's a giveaway there. So I found some uh, egg cases here. I think these might be uh, dogfish. Do get a lot of dogfish. Uh, they've been washed up on the tide line with all the rest of the rubbish. And there's also, I think I can spy, there's a, I think it's a sea potato. Bit of a case there. Yeah, there's one there. That's a better one. In amongst all the seaweed, in its own little nest. Uh, lovely is that. Wow, there's a nice one. That's another um, case. That's fabulous. That. There's a nice square of plywood. 
uh, been floating around for a while. Even got a couple of holes screwed in it. Might have been an outer board at one time, perhaps. Uh, could be a great substrate for a little piece of artwork. That'll go in the bag. Tire here. Uh, is it? Uh, I'm not too sure really. I think it's plastic. Yeah. Uh, probably leave that. So there you have it, uh, about half an hour on the beach and we've collected a great big bag full of stuff here which we can use for all sorts of crafts and if you've gone down the beach at all then be sure to take an old shopping bag with you and look out for all sorts of bits and pieces that you can bring back and use in your crafts. Don't forget, some of them have been in the sea so if you're going to keep them hanging around they could be a little bit smelly so be sure to give them a wash when you get back and then they'll keep really well for in your treasure chest to use for whatever crafts you you want to and in another video we'll show you some of the things that you can make from shells and feathers and bits of driftwood and all these little bits of plastic and things so let's get creative <laughs>